Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is a walkthrough to the second Elsin challenge in a Back in Time series which I created for Bellingcat. This set and many others can be found on Bellingcat's open source challenge platform which you can access by going to challenge.bellingcat.com. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to training time. You Let me zoom this a bit. Here we go. Following the creation of Bellingcat in 2014, the first few years were focused on publishing investigations and running training sessions. In December 2017, Christian Tribert hosted a workshop as a representative of Bellingcat. The image above shows Christian at that event. Here we go. Your task is to identify the name of the room seen in the photo. I also provided the answer format so you know that the name of the room will follow a similar pattern. So let's do this. First, a quick analysis of the image and let me open in a new tab. Uh, it's quite zoomed in, so let me just zoom out a bit. Here we go, much better. So it shows Christine here wearing a dark sweater. He's sat on a chair next to two other individuals, so one here and one there. It's not clear what Christian has on his screen, but the gentleman here with the glasses appears to be looking at satellite imagery. There are many items on top of this light-colored table, nothing that stands out too much, so I won't dwell on it for this video. The chair has a wooden structure. We cannot see the back of it very well because there's a knife on it, possibly a jacket. We can, however, notice that he has blue upholstery. Oh my god, I'm going to zoom it a lot so we can see the blue upholstery here. Small details like color and style of furnishing are always extremely helpful to verify in indoors locations. We always need to pay extra attention to those. Let me zoom out again. Okay, so the room has a green and white colored wall. On our right, we can see part of the projector screen in front of the green section. The floor has a patterned carpet on top of a light colored surface that we can see around the border here. This contrasts with a dark baseboard, look at that, very dark in contrast with this color. And the two visible doors, so this one and this one, seem to match the color of the baseboard. And also they have some sort of pattern on them. Oh my god, there we go. So we have a pattern on the door and around the door. In the distance, we can see a narrow structure with some items on top. Underneath it, there are a few sockets and there's at least one here on the side as well. Unfortunately, it's too far to really pick up the details on the sockets because this type of features are amazing to narrow down to a country or region when doing indoor geolocations. But anyway, at the quick glance, this is it. So now let's focus on the text here. Let me bring this again. Here we go. It says that there was a workshop event in December 2017, which Bell and Kat attended being represented by Christian. So let's start with a simple Google search with some useful keywords from the text. So something like Christian Tribert in quotation marks to ensure that we get the correct person, followed by workshop December and 2017. Here we go. And let me whee, zoom this out. Okay, I'll explain why I just did that. So this is the first time I'm recording a video walkthrough after people have solved the challenge. So we need to navigate around spoilers because there are already a few index walkthroughs around, which I love, but we need to be mindful of that. In general, I always record my videos before releasing the exercises, but as this was a set of five challenges, it just wasn't possible. But that's fine, no worries. We can just remove the other walkthroughs from our pool of results by filtering them. And we can do that, can barely see what I'm doing by putting a minus training time. So basically we removed any results that contain the title of the challenge and that's it. No walkthroughs anymore. So now there are a couple of results that mention December 2017. We have the first one and the second. When I was initially looking at this list I thought to myself oh wow Christian was seriously busy on this first week of December. Look at that. It says here that this forum took place between the 1st and the 3rd of December and the second result mentions the 1st of December. And I was like is he even sleeping? Well it turns out that this second event actually took place in the October 2017, it's just that this page was created on the 1st of December to confuse us. So the top result is definitely the correct one for our challenge. In fact, we can spot this ARIJ all over it. It's on the URL, it's on the title, and it's also here on the snippet. And this is the same initialism we also found on the photo credit of our challenge. Look at that, it's here. And because investigations should always be driven by curiosity, let's check out what this stands for by just googling ARIJ. And there we go. It says it stands for Arab Reporters for Investigative Journalism. And it does make sense that Bell and Cat would be participating in this type of event. So let's go back and open this link. 
let's check it out first thing we see is a big banner advertising the event the problem is that this is the wrong event the information is related to the 2019 forum not to 2017 despite the fact that we're definitely in the correct place but let's just double check we have a lot of keywords on this url i'm not going to show you i'm going to bring this up i'm going to zoom this a bit here we go so the url does mention the arij the 10th annual forum and the 2017 and if we go here and we filter by date all options are related to December 2017. So the banner seems to have been a mistake, but that's okay. It happens, no big deal. Let's instead focus on the information in this page because we landed right on Christian's workshop, which was titled Investigating War and Conflict with Digital Information. It reportedly took place on Saturday, December the 2nd, 2017 at 9 a.m. EET, which stands for Eastern European Time. So this is already a nice clue of where in the globe we'll be focusing on because we wouldn't be given this time zone if the event was being hosted in the American continent continent for example according to the filter by date section let me zoom this a bit here we go so the, according to this section here the Bellingcat workshop took place on the second day of the event right in the middle underneath here we can also see a filter by venue if we click on it it'll just list what appears to be the names of the rooms where the sessions took place all within this hotel Moven Peak Resort and Spa Dead Sea so we'll probably be near the Dead Sea all of them have links which is great and useful but we don't really need them the block of text here we go in front of us contains some information when we hover so let's see what it says let's see if you can see it all here we go so it has most of the information we already knew and in addition to that it identifies the location of the workshop as aldi 11 which we can also see on this side here oh let me bring this thing again oh you go and it mentions floor G, which appears to lead to Google Maps, which is great. So let's just click the two of them and see what happens. Great. So the first one shows all the workshops that took place on the Wall D11 venue, and we can confirm that the building card, here we go, right at the top, was indeed there. Now, the second link seems to be of Google Maps, which will be very useful, so we don't have to type the name of the resort and find ourselves. So let's check out this possibly beautiful Dead Sea resort in, wait, Australia? How the hell did we end up in Australia? Also, like, is this a furniture store? Wait, I'm not crazy. I definitely clicked the correct link, but let me go back and see if the link leads to, there we go again, Australia. We're still in Australia. Right, so my geography may not be anything extraordinary, but I'm pretty sure Australia does not have a coast on the Dead Sea. Right, so now seriously, I have no idea why the page leads to a location almost 14,000 kilometers from the Dead Sea. However, I wanted to show how sometimes some websites, even official ones, will contain incorrect information. So this is already the second example of something wrong here after the banner with the 2019 date. So this is just to highlight the need to always verify your findings. But since we're here again, let's click the map tab and hopefully it will actually show the correct resort on the map. Finally, okay, let me zoom out. So finally, we have a map and it's nicely sandwiched between two wrong banners, but that's okay, that's okay. I like working in chaos. Anyway, so we finally got the map and the location seems to at least be in the correct continent and in front of the Dead Sea because it says there Dead Sea Beach. The name of the resort here matches what we had previously seen, so I have high hopes for this. Let's just click on the hotel and check out the gallery to see if there's any photos of their venues to compare with our challenge photo with Christian. There we go. And what the hell? This is just a screenshot of a map. It doesn't even like do anything. Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Oh my God. Okay. In all honesty, I absolutely love how maddening this website is. There were many things. I am just showing some of them. It was wild. Okay. But for the sake of our sanity, let's just go to Google and find the hotel's website because remember we have seen the name of it. So the top result is the link to the website. So let's open this on another tab. Yay. Another tab. Okay. First impressions. It looks like a very nice place. I would definitely sunbathe here. So let's scroll and see if anything catches our eye. So there's rooms at the lounge area, nice food. We have what's the Dead Sea and oh, look at that. I like that. I recognize that chair. Let's open this picture on a new tab and it's quite zoomed in, which is great. Oh, we can zoom even more. Wow, love this. So quickly, let's just compare this picture here and I'm going to put it there. Oh, not there, there. And we're going to compare with this photo here. So we're going to put it there. Brilliant. And I'm going to show you the chair and I'm going to show you this chair. Nice. 
Brilliant. Here we go. So we have a very similar chair and we have a very similar table. They're different carpets and different wall color though. But it's still good to know we're on the right track. So let's go back to this again. Let me open a new tab. There we go. This again. And we're going to click the find out more button on a new tab. Yay, so many tabs. You know, the best part of any investigation is when at the end of it, you just click that X on the corner and close all the tabs. All of them. Normal browsers will then ask, are you sure you want to close them all or something like that? But not my work browser. No, no, no. I set it so if I click that cross, I expect immediate obedience. Just do it, no questions asked. That's also the main reason why I prefer Linux. I'm the supreme leader of my computer. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's check this out and look at that first name, all the one. I'm going to open another tab. Yay. Okay. So this is where, according to the schedule, Christian was supposed to be presenting Bell and Cat's workshop. However, there is a problem. Another one. The features of this room do not match this room, starting with the obvious different wall color. So there are a few possible reasons for this. First, this could be a recent photo. And in 2017, when the workshop took place, the room looked different. Second, this is yet another small error on the page of the event and they mislabel in which room Christian was going to be presenting Bellingcast session. Or third, the photo with Christian, this one here, was taken in a different room. Because technically, technically, I never said that the challenge photo had been taken during Christian's workshop, did I? Sneaky, sneaky, Sophia. What I did say here, let's go back and look at it. Oh, it's not open again. Oh my God, so many zooms. I get confused with zooms. There we go. So what I did say is that the photo showed Christian at the event and that is technically true, so you cannot be mad at me. So if this is not the Aldi one room, which one is it? So let's go back to the hotel list of venues, this one here, and check the other ones and see, maybe we'll be lucky, I don't know. Let's see all the way, look for green walls. There we go, we found some green walls. And it's the grand ballroom, let's open on another tab. Let's check it out. It has green and white walls, yay. A pattern carpet on top of a light colored floor. We can see it around and the dark baseboard as well, which matches the color of the doors. Here we go. We have a few doors here in the same color as this baseboard. So is this the correct place? Let's put this photo side by side and see if it all checks out. So we're going to bring up the photo again here. I want this one specifically. Here we go and, and I'm going to try to put it here on the side, lost the other one, here we go. Now there is a small issue, very small. This is one of those pages that crops the images to fit the window. So when we try to resize it, the entire left section gets cropped and we cannot scroll it, we cannot drag it, there we go, it just disappears and we need that. So there are a few ways to solve this and I'll show you the fastest one that doesn't require leaving this page. Let's maximize this. So now we're going to press the F12 button on our keyboards to bring up the console and we're going to the network tab here and we're going to, here you go, refresh the page. We're going to order this by type and we know that image files are usually JPEGs, PNGs or in this case a WebP. So you can see here if we double click it, Wow, it's really zoomed in. Here you go. We can see the entire thing. Look at that. So much better. Nice. So now that we have the photo, we can put it side by side. And I'm going to zoom in even more here. Perfect. I just need... There we go. That's the angle I wanted. Now I'm going to get flame shot, which I really like to use to highlight stuff like this. And let's start selecting. So do you remember this socket here on its own? We can see it here. And a few others, we can see them here. There we go. Then we have the door here, which is this door here. And we have the other door there, which is this door here. And now let me get another color, so green. I wanted to look at this thing here. I believe this is where the projector is stored. So when it goes down, it goes something like that. It has to be like parallel or something, so there. Something like that, uh, something like that. It's not very well done, but you can see it. And let me get yet another color, yellow, and get an hour. The distance from this door to where the projector would be is the same as this distance here. So all in all, if I had to make an assessment and I'm going to pick another color, which color is going to be Christian? This one. So if I had to make an assessment of where Christian was at the time of this photo, I would put him exactly here perfect here we go amazing so let me cancel all of this we don't need to look at it anymore so now at this point i feel like this brings up more questions 
because does this mean that Bellingcast workshop took place in this room? If not, then what was Christian doing here? And if this photo was not taken during the workshop, can we find photos or videos of it? And if we look at these other photos and videos and compare them with the photo we found of the Aldi one room, which is lost somewhere in my tabs, will they match? And can we verify that Christian's workshop was held on that room as advertised or was that another error of the website? You can find the answers to these questions and many more. <laughs> I looked into them and my plan was to cover it all on this video. But then the little sane voice in my head stopped me and said, Dear Lord Sophia, just keep this brief. You have five walkthroughs to record and edit. What are you doing to yourself? So I'm taking my own advice and stop here. However, you are more than welcome to keep going. It was quite a fun little rabbit hole. But we have answered the question of this challenge and that's what matters. The name of the room. Dear Lord, I have no idea where it is. It's here. It's here. It is the grand ball room and where is the belling cat thing is here. Okay, enter the solution. We're going to enter. Are you ready for this? You are? Okay, congratulations. You, you solved this challenge. So I hope you enjoy going back in time. Let me maximize this again. So yeah, I hope you enjoy going back in time to one of the many workshops belling cat delivered during their first years. For the next challenge, we'll tackle creating community and learn about their Discord server. And I swear I'm going to keep it short. In the meanwhile, have a great week.